you can see that we are looking from the first camera point of view but when you hit and hold C we go to camera 2 what is up you guys today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to switch between camera views which is the press of a button so the very first thing we are going to want to do is we're going to want to come up to the top left and type in camera so basically these are going to be our different viewpoints from when we change them so I'm bringing in two for this example and I'm just going to give it a little bit of rotation so that way we can clearly tell the difference uh, between the two camera points so once that is done, come up here to the top right hand corner and go to open level blueprint. And from here, we are going to want to do a begin play. So this is basically when the process starts. This is going to be the very first camera that we are going to want to go to. So once that is done, you are going to want to click and drag out and do uh, set new set view target. Now, sometimes it doesn't show up because of the context sensitive. So during this video, we're gonna be switching back and forth. But when you uncheck it, we can clearly see the set new view target with blend. So make sure that if you're not seeing it, it's probably because you have this box checked. So just uncheck it and do set the view target with blend. Once that is done, go back to your main screen and select the camera that you want first to be referenced. Go back in, right click, and with the context sensitive checked, create a reference to our camera after, which is simply going to be our new view target. So next we're going to want to right click and get player controller and then drag this in for our target. So we're gonna want to do the same thing again. So simply come down here to the bottom and get a reference to our second camera. And we are going to want to duplicate the set view target, which is gonna be our new target. And then our player controller is going to be our target and then simply from there, we are going to also want to do a key binding. So right click and type in keyboard and find the button that you want to press to go between the two cameras. In this case, I'm just going to do C for camera. So once that is done, when you press it, we are going to go to the second camera. So when we press C, we're going to go from camera one to camera two. Now, once that happens, there's not going to be a way to go back. So what you're going to want to do is with the released key, just simply go up and connect this to your first camera. So basically, when you press the key that you want, it will go from camera one to camera two. And if you want to go back, once you release it, you will be going back to camera one. So if you compile and save, I can show you what that looks like. So when you click play, you can see that we are looking from the first camera point of view, but when you hit and hold C, we go to camera two. Let go, camera one, hold down, camera two. So this would be really good for immersive storytelling games or games that are similar to Five Nights at Freddy's, where you check in the different um, cameras to make sure that no one's sneaking up on you. The opportunities and the different ways to use this feature are absolutely endless and all depends on your creativity. But that is simply how you switch between different camera modes, which is the press of a button.